and basically I fell in love with this place and planned to stay like one season and now it's 12 years. It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time, yeah. Having enough days here, yeah. it's the main thing, especially with Aurora. Dress accordingly if there's like negative 30 here. Obviously it's a place where we have nature really close by and it's very easy to get out and do a bunch of different activities. We have skiing, we can do snowshoeing, and of course the ice climbing, the snowmobiling, and uh, at night, evenings, it will be the aurora. Yeah. Summertime is mainly around hiking. Yeah. And uh, of course, like photography is really good here. We have the midnight sun, the sun doesn't set here for a month. In the village right now, we have a moose mother with her calf, like wandering around something in the village, sometimes out, and we have nature TV at its best. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I came up mainly the, to do winter sports for longer periods. So just started out doing ice climbing, and this place is like superb to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the longest seasons in Europe. Like about six months you can do the ice climbing on natural ice. Yeah, if, if you're a total beginner, it's really close by here. Mm -hmm. We have down in the canyon. Even afraid of heights, you can climb up and stop at your own limit. And if you're more experienced, of course, I can give you more uh, challenge in climbing. Perfect day, probably in March. I want to wake up early, pack my snowmobile with some stuff, go out in the mountains, and from there I do some uh, ski mountaineering. The evening I will have dinner at Abisko Mountain Lodge. Arctic char or some dish with a reindeer. Yeah. I would say stay off steep slopes. The streams, even if it's really cold there, we don't know really how thick the ice is. Yeah, the lake is okay, but yeah. the streams, no. Not having enough days here, yeah. it's the main thing, yeah. especially with Aurora. Mm. That you come here maybe one or two nights, due to the like weather situation, you can miss it. Yeah, yeah I would probably stay four or five days, dress accordingly if there's like negative 30 here. <laughs> Most accommodations here offer some kind of uh, like renting wear, mm -hmm. so you can rent boots, clothing, etc. For your face, eventually it get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's <laughs> and it's the same every winter. Yeah. So every winter I feel cold, you know, and after after a while, okay, that's good. In one feeling, yeah. <laughs> I would say Arbus was uh, kind of cozy. Yeah. Yeah.